on a day where training camps were supposed to open across the CFL. There were no whistles, no pads hitting. A labor dispute has put a hold on everything. So like obviously like we can't do any like team organized activities like no meetings no film no like actual team practice and like one on ones and skelly and like you know grid and that kind of stuff. Oh, scratch. Oh. <laughs> We've been roommates like for the past couple seasons, um, so it's just like it's like being at home. Yeah, being we're room, roommates at the Huskies, roommates at the Combine, now roommates here. So it's it, it made it easy like just one less thing you have to worry about. He doesn't snore. Yeah, we didn't say we're the best pool players. <laughs> We've just been playing a lot recently. Nice. <laughs> game over. Good game. You know, scheduled practice time. You can still like use that field in that time to get better. Um, just like with our teammates and our peers and stuff like that. So that's exactly what we've been doing as a D-line. And, um, you know, I can definitely um, tell that I've been reaping benefits just from, you know, that time learning from the vets and stuff like that so far. Yeah, it's a good way to kill time. And it's good cardio, man. You get to have fun with your teammates, you know, do some bonding. You know, unfortunate circumstances, you know, just give us time to like have fun and what better way than basketball? Yep. Oh no. We're having a good time though, man. Team bonding, just getting some hoops in. For sure. Staying in your room, right? Most definitely. Most definitely. Especially last year with quarantine. With and all quarantine that. and stuff like that. It it kinda feels like that, but it's better just because we can, you know, get out the room and have some fun with each other. Beautiful. Yes, sir. Come on. Where we going? All I gotta do is shoot half more shots. Air ball. I seen three main shots the whole game. Three, and they're all by tuck. <laughs> That'll be awesome. Oh, oh. Go get it, go get it, go get it. Go, go. Oh, no, get up, boy, get up. Get up! Get up! Get up! We're playing knockout right now. The old Lima sitting, I don't know how. And Coach Tuck sitting. I don't know how either. He been shooting since 1950. Tuck an old timer, but he still got it. We just waiting for some football, because we ain't no basketball players, you know. But it's all good. By the week or so, hopefully we'll be back at football. The best man ain't gonna get it. Oh! Hey! Lucha has been doing this thing today for sure. It's, a, it's been some good games. He's not even like that. But he's he really not like, like that. that. But he been he been he been doing this thing today. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Get him. Look at him. Oh. See, see what I told you? You're not gonna stay in bed all day and, and wait, right? So we haven't really stepped on the field as a team yet but I can tell that we already have like a vibe going and, and the, the team spirit like the, the guys were bonding and honestly I see I see some good stuff coming out of, of this even though we're not being on the field as a team yet. Yeah, I want to step on the field like I'm, I'm ready to go. I've been ready for a couple of weeks now, so. Said I woke up to the summer shining throat, calling on my friends asking what's the move. The first CFL strike in nearly 50 years is over, and the BC Lions are now back at Hillside Stadium. The team took to the field for their first full practice as a team today, thanks to a tentative agreement between the league and its players association last night. Welcome to Cam Loops, man. First day of practice. Hey, we back, we back, we back, we back. I got the feeling that you get when you get new kicks. Bell ringing on the last day of singing, yeah. High five and everybody, but we out of here. So fast, life comes and goes. Make it last, 
best slow your road. They don't take it as a choice, but you gotta know that today's So I always assumed the PA was something that you would get into once you're kind of an old wily vet and your job's a little bit more secure. And it was actually my second season, just uh, shortly after training camp. There was kind of a, a coalition of, of young guys kind of in the back of the room when we were nominating guys and they all agreed that it would be a good position for me, although I did not agree at the time. But uh, I'm happy to be in that role now because I get to pass a lot of information down to guys. A strike is never easy on either side. Doesn't matter which side you support or represent, it's never a good thing. You know, the Players Association at the end of the day is, is there for the players to make sure we're taking care of it. You start losing practice days, um, you lose opportunities for guys to get on the field. Um, you also lose, you know, the opportunity for you to, uh, you know, maybe do a couple of installations and so forth. So, because right now it's really an opportunity for guys to learn, especially for the rookie guys. So, you know, you want to take advantage of the opportunity. And at that point, like I said, you got to try to make a way uh, for those four days and try to regain, you know, the opportunities and reps as much as possible. You know, sure, we were on a fair bit of meetings and it was more last minute stuff. And, you know, I just appreciate the guys being patient with me and, and asking me the right questions. It's, I try and take as much information as I can uh, from our meetings and, and disseminate that day, you know, down to the locker room. I think uh, our OC, I can't speak for the defensive room. For the first time in my career since 2019, I get to return to the same head coach, same, you know, coordinators. Uh, and there's continuity in the room, right? We get to take where we were left off last year. You know, we finished on a high note. Status of mindset, all right? We're on the field, like I said, we're attacking at all times. Or we're playing discipline, like I said, attack, aggressive football. Plain and simple, all right? Like I said, if you can't get with that mentality, I'm gonna tell you right now, this ain't the spot for you. Right? We are dictating defense, we're not counter punchers. All right, that's Floyd Mayweather. We ain't got nothing else. Hey, hey, vacation time is over. You know what I'm saying? It's time, it's time to get right into our playbook, go 100%. And that vacation shit is over. So I'm gonna break it down on defense. When we break it down, you gotta get, gotta get a good mindset, right? <coughs> so defense on three. One, two, three, defense! defense. Shit. That's good, bro. You're getting better. Okay. A uh, typical day for me, coaching-wise, um, you usually wake up about 5.45 or so. Um, at that point now, you want to make sure that everything's prepped up and, script, and scripted for the day. Um, whether you're having a back-to-back -back practice or even a single-day practice, um, you'll start out with meetings sometimes in the morning, or you'll have a practice that starts usually by 8 or 8.30 in the morning. Um, that goes for about, you know, two and a half, three hours. Then at that point, you got to hurry up and go review the film, have lunch, come back now, have another second meeting, maybe have a second practice. If we can fall off of that, you got Yeah. Okay. So if he come to you. After that, have another night meetings, have dinner, and then now we have to film review and have another personnel meeting as a coach. So, you know, your, your nights end around, you know, 10, 10, 30. Your days start about 5, 45, 6 o'clock. That's a typical training camp day for a coach. Hey, ball, 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 ball. You know, um, I like Tennille Cooper, um, you know, he's definitely been out there showcasing himself, showing his ability. He's been out there flying around and making plays and it's great to see, you know, a guy like him, uh, you know, going out there and want to take advantage of an opportunity. Um, other guys like Ragamba, um, other guys like Quincy uh, as well, um, those guys are out there making plays and those guys are out there, like I said, taking advantage of opportunities. And like I said, I want to, I want to see those guys showcase their ability in that first preseason game as well. It's just so nice to be a part of a regular camp. Last year with the shortened season, uh, you know, we, we were stuck in isolation for seven days. We couldn't eat as a team. We couldn't meet as a team. Everything was virtual. So to be able to have a regular camp, you know, you, you're just fortunate to play football and, and be around the guys and, and, you know, get to do this for a living. Man, it was good just to see those guys flying around. You know, the energy was built up. You know, guys was out here, you know, walking through the dorms and, you know, walking back and forth on the field. Guys wanted to have the opportunity to compete and put their pads on. The tentative collective bargaining agreement reached last week between the CFL and the CFL Players Association has been voted down by the membership. The league's players can go back on strike anytime.